What's going on, YouTube? Today is March 30th, and it is NFP week. It's the first week of the month. Um, I just said it like that because, you know, it's kind of exciting. <laughs> Wait, no, is it? NFP? Yeah, it is NFP week. I'm tripping. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so today <clears throat> we're kind of um, giving our daily forecast for the day. And we'll kind of run through it really quickly. So I've been back testing so far, and this, 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 this price action move finally happened in real time. So I get to talk about it, which I'm so excited about. So I'm gonna go ahead type it out here. Asian session pull. That's what I want to call it, right? So what an Asian session pull is. This is kind of what I've. Somebody else definitely thought of this or definitely saw this um i just kind of came to it through my own discovery of back testing i remember ict was talking about um he was talking about a uh surefire way not a surefire way he was talking about understanding daily range so i was just kind of back testing it the previous days on the aussie dollar on the aussie and um i just kind of found uh i guess this certain scenario that I kind of want to talk about and I call it the Asian pool. So what basically the Asian pool is basically is when Asian session runs over 40 pips. So hold on, I'm trying to learn how to type. So I'm going to use this as practice runs over, oh, over 40 <laughs> runs over 40 pips right so what i've noticed is that when asian session tends to run over 40 pips london and new york new york sessions will will be oh man dedicated or will try to fill in about 50% of that Asian session pull. Now, <clears throat> when I say this, It'll try to fill in about 50% of the Asian session pool. The reason why this Asian session normally happens or Asian session pools normally happen is to sweep some kind of liquidity that hasn't been swept or correct, correct something that was supposed to be corrected a while back ago or that was supposed to happen. Um, That's what I've noticed so far. So like, for example, this is Sunday session open, right? <clears throat> we got all these buyers that I got in up of here above here buying 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 this tokyo session was to literally knock every single one if you was in here you got knocked out here if you was in here you got knocked out here if you was in here you got knocked out here and if you was all the way here you got knocked out here if you was here you got knocked out here and it almost reached down there but it just couldn't quite make it so to knock out a lot of buyers and put a lot of sales uh sell orders in the market before actually reversing so that's what that session really does. Usually when it runs over 40 pips, London and New York will tend to come back and retrace to about 50% before either continue, continuing the move or <clears throat> it will just completely fill it in if it is in the opposite direction of your daily bias. So if my daily bias was bears for this sense, I would expect London to come in filling about 50% or London, New York to fill in 50% and then continue to reverse because it took out all these highs right here as well, right? But my bias is bullish. So I'm expecting it to completely fill Tokyo and London and maybe run to Tokyo's high, taking out, you know, any orders above here um, or just kind of running to here, honestly speaking, and filling in this imbalance on the 15 right here. So, knowing that, of course, my daily bias is bullish, but I'm looking for a, I hope I kind of explained that a little bit. Just go back in your charts and look at 
just go back in your charts look at tokyo session from uh seven to midnight and look at just, just mark each of them up and look at each one that has a run over 40 moves and see what it does most of the time it's going to retrace the feeling that full move or it's going to retrace the 50 percent and then continue in the same direction but in this example my daily bias is bullish so i'm waiting to see what is happening right now a break above below these lows right here and i'm actually going to drag it down a little bit more break a uh, break below this low right here because well it technically happened here but you know who was up at 1 30 in the morning not me so i'm waiting to see a break below that low right there if we go on the five minute it can even you know it's kind of like a almost like a trend line almost but i want to see a break below this low right here on the 15 right i want to see some of this buy side because it's pretty much anyone it probably put some stops down here and some sell orders definitely probably are down here as well and down here i don't really see too much here but i want to see a sweep of this liquidity right here I'm putting buy sell. Uh, my bad. Sell side liquidity. I want to see a sweep of that. I'll move it to the right side. That's bad. Right above. I'll move it um, center. Okay, cool. I want to see some sell side liquidity right here get taken out. I want to see that happen. And then I'm going to look for a market structure shift, displacement, and then I'll move back to the upside. Honestly speaking, though, I can see how far it's going to run. I got to see if we have any news by any chance. We do have news at 10 o'clock. That's a while from now. So I want to see a sweep below this low. I want to see some type of market structure shift when the five, two, or one. And then I want to see um, either an optimal trade entry from this low right here, I guess you could say. Um, nah, I don't want to see that. Honestly, that might look good because we got this imbalance here. We'll see what happens. That looks kind of good, though. Um, let me draw from the candle body to body. Yeah, about right here. Looks like a good area. We'll see if we get a sweep below there. And then I want to see displacement. And then I'm going to be buying. Now, where would my targets be? Pretty simple. It's going to be right here. I want to say, let me look back in the past. My overall target probably might be I'd like to say right here the overall target gonna be right there. See, we got a lot to fill in, but I don't expect it to fill in that in one day. So, yeah, we'll see if we get a setup. But yeah, my target definitely would be above that high, filling in some of that. That'd be my overall target. And yeah, we'll see where it takes us. But that's my daily forecast for March 30th. And until next time.